There's a lot in gaming news this week. Lots of questions. What's Nintendo gonna do to turn their crap around? What the hell's going on with Microsoft? Are there any validity to the rumors? Am I ever gonna get my computer fixed so I can stop shooting these on my iPhone? <laughs> this week has turned into a massive Xbox One rumor mill. At first, unsubstantiated rumors were coming out. There was going to be an Xbox One without a Blu-ray drive. There was going to be a price cut to $399, obviously, to compete with the PlayStation 4, which is currently out selling the Xbox One by a pretty good margin. They mentioned a remake of Halo 2 for the Xbox One. But then, there were corroboration of some of the rumors later in the week. The Halo 2 anniversary will likely come out at the end of this year, and then lead into Halo 5 next year. Also added validity to 399 rumors for the Xbox One. I think it'd be great if they lowered the price, but if they dropped the Kinect out of the bundle to get to that price, that would bum me out. The system is still underpowered compared to the PS4, so if you lose one of the big things that it has that the PS4 does not natively have to get to that price, you're still getting beat. Nintendo still having trouble with third-party publishers and just trouble in general. Warner Brothers Games announced that they will be canceling the rest of the story DLC for Batman Arkham Origins, even though some of the content has already come out due to lack of demand. Even though some of the DLC has already come out, Nintendo is giving refunds to anybody who purchased it. So essentially, if you got it on Wii U, you got free DLC. Try to think of the upside. Also, if you have Xbox Live Gold or PlayStation Plus, there are a lot of good free games coming out. Right now on Xbox Live Gold, you can get Dead Island for free later in the month. They're going to replace that with Toy Soldiers Cold War. PlayStation Plus is continuing to kill it in the free games market. This month alone, for PlayStation 3, you're going to get Metro Last Light, Remember Me. For PlayStation Vita, you'll be getting Mod Nation Racers, as well as Street Fighter Cross Tekken. That's a pretty good fighting game. And the big game I'm excited about, Outlast for the PS4. Of course, that's going to replace Don't Starve in the Instant Game Collection for PS4, so if you haven't picked that up yet, be sure to do it before February 4th. The new console war continues at full steam, with Microsoft stores giving $100 trading credit towards an Xbox One if you, quote, ditch your PlayStation 3s. But the thing that seems to be sticking with people is the word ditch, specifically using the word ditch. It's inflammatory, it's there to get people talking, get people riled up on both sides, gets people talking about you. It's not a bad move. So if you didn't guess from the Outlast reference, I have finally made my decision on a system. A lot of it came down to simple money. 400 is less than 500. But I have decided to get a PS4. I'm very excited about it. Hopefully I'll be picking one up next week. Then hopefully soon after that I can start streaming. And then I'll be using these videos to talk about it, how I feel about it, especially since I've been primarily a Microsoft guy. What I realized is that I had slowly started shifting to Sony and I hadn't even realized it. I absolutely love playing the Vita. I play Spelunky on there almost every day. Uh, Persona 4. There's a lot of great games on the Vita to play. I own the PlayStation Display, the 3D TV that they made. It wasn't that popular, but it's a great display. I've used it for my computer for a long time, and I use it for games when the big TV is not available. And it's weird. I've, I've never been a Sony guy. I've always owned those Sony systems, but something's always gone wrong with them or been crappy enough about them that I've just never really aligned myself with them. Plus, let's be honest, they love their ego. Greatness awaits PlayStation Nation. And for those who love to play with complete freedom, this is for the game changer.